If you guys are changing from Ninja Gaming, in this video, I will be telling you what I think is the new best sniper in Battlefield Hardline. Before we get into this video, just like say, if you are new, you don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything Battlefield Hardline and just a bunch of gameplay and stuff like that. I'm currently running a World War II server um, on both PC and PlayStation 4. If you guys want to learn more about that, I did a video on my channel, more of a stream. And uh, if you, again, if you want to join the servers, just tell me in the comments and I can link the server, like, link, basically. But this sniper is the M1903, and while statistically this isn't the best sniper, there's a couple factors that sort of just make this weapon excel past the rest. So obviously the first is the fact that it's a all-kit sniper. You can use this on any class, which makes it extremely versatile. You can use it... As an assault, you can use the armored insert and get the extra protection that you often need when sniping. And ultimately, this weapon is very good at both close and long range. Uh, in close quarters, you can get that quick two-shot kill with um, the great hip fire and fast rate of fire, 58 rounds per minute. And while there is a downside that it is not a one-hit kill, and obviously that makes it not as good as some of the other sniper rifles. Um, basically, just for a sniper of this kind that's so good at long range, I also find that the hitbox, the headshot hitbox, is amazing. Like right here, you're going to see me, I don't know how I hit that headshot. I have absolutely no clue how I hit the headshot on that guy. Uh, but I just think that this hitbox hit on this weapon's headshots is really good. Basically, what that means is you, if you slightly miss the head, but it's pretty close, it'll still give you a headshot on this gun. And in addition to that, while it does have a small mag size, it has a quick reload as well, and it's always going to be a one-shot headshot. It also has the tie for the fastest bullet velocity, I believe, out of all the sniper rifles, because I think the M82 got nerfed. Um, so yeah, it has a bullet velocity of 640 meters per second, which is the same as the Scout Elite. And ultimately, yeah, I think this weapon is just simply amazing because of the fact that it's an all-kit sniper rifle and it's so good. The AWS I did not like it as an all-kit sniper. It's honestly pretty underwhelming with the slow rate of fire, the high bullet drop. But this weapon is a great weapon, and not to mention the fact that it looks absolutely awesome. The World War II setting and World War I setting, I guess, on this sniper, along with that insanely awesome scope, make it look amazing. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just going to leave you with some more gameplay with this sniper rifle. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything Battlefield Hardline and again, everything for the Betrayal DLC. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.